Hey y'all, it's your friend D, and in today's video, we're touring the laundry room. Now, as you can see, it's a very narrow room. When I first made it, I wasn't thinking about filming in this. It was just to take personal pictures of my dolls. But if you've seen my bathroom tour, you know that this wall pulls out. So that's what we're gonna do for this video. But first, let's acknowledge Tanja. She decided to dress as a 1950s housewife for the laundry room tour. So guys, I found a lot of clothes at the thrift store recently and I will be bringing you a haul, but I wanted to go ahead and show you this dress that Tanja has on. It's a white dress with cherries printed on it. It does have a collar and it comes with this little belt attached to it and it goes down just past her knees or right at the knee and it Velcros in the back. And I just thought it was very cute and I wanted to dress her up today. And she even has on her little red earrings. So since we're in a laundry room, might as well show some clothes. So, but let's get into the tour of the laundry room. I pulled out the dividing wall so we could have a better look at it. It's just white brick paper. I think this came from Michael's. And for the pictures, I just printed these from the internet on some yellow and blue paper. Um, I thought that these were just really cute. And this one is actually a guide chart. It shows the different symbols uh, that you will see on garments and what they mean as far as caring for the garment. The shelf here is just three popsicle sticks. You can see two laying flat against the wall and then a third here to make the top of the shelf. The four hooks are just pieces from a clothes hanger. So I used this type of clothes hanger obviously in white for the hooks, but I took these little pieces off. And these would also make a good faucet, guys, if you turn it the other way. So the hooks are for decoration as well as holding up our ironing board. And this is just for decoration, guys. It is not really, well, I guess it is kind of functional, but I only wanted to make it look like a workable ironing board. It does not fold out. I just glued some dowel rods to the bottom. And so when it's on the wall, it kind of looks like it's a actual um, ironing board. But that's this wall. So nothing too fancy on there. So guys, this is what the rooms look like without the dividing wall. And as you can see on the floor, I've created some tracks to help guide the wall in. And the cabinet back here helps to hold it in place as well as, oops, as well as another kind of track on the wall back there. So it just slides in there really snug and holds in place. So as far as the floor, I used the same paper that I did in the bathroom. The walls are all the white brick paper. And the rug is, once again, some of that black felt also used in the bathroom. So as far as the lights, you can see I did the same treatment as in the bathroom. And it was supposed to be recess lighting. And some of them worked out. They stayed in place. Some of the other ones did not. I think I made the holes too big. But it serves its purpose. So on the right side wall, I just have this one little piece of artwork there. I didn't want to clutter this wall with much. So as far as the shelves on the back wall, it's the same thing as the one over here. I made these out of popsicle sticks. And I wanted to have some brackets kind of showing at the bottom of them. So that's why you see a couple of popsicle sticks down here. Um, I don't know if I achieved what I was going for, but like I said, this was one of my first dioramas I ever made. And this was, I just used this as a learning curve. I do like the overall look of the shelving. And right, oh, it's a tight fit, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to work around the camera and the light. <laughs> but right here, there's actually a hanger. It comes off, but I, okay. Okay, anyway, there is. Huh. Oh, we got it. Okay. So we have a clothes hanger rod here. And this is just a dowel rod. And the metal pieces are paper clips. 
yeah, I cut them in half and I believe I hot glued them under there with the rod sliding through. So this rod can slide in and out if I wanted to make it longer. And so that's just so the doll can hang the clothes and dry. So guys, here's a closer look at the shelves. Um, so I think it's four popsicle sticks deep. And then there's one here in the front just to um, make it look more finished off. And then you have the brackets in the back there. And I also printed out several more pieces of artwork to go back here. On the top shelf there, I have another one of those decorative boxes. So this one is just black and silver. It has nothing inside um, yet. Maybe if I find some more mini brands that can go in the uh, laundry room, I'll put those in here. And the plant is just one I made out of paper and a cap from a glue stick. So over here, we have this little gift box that I had and it's very shiny. And I put my little attempt at making bathroom tissue in it. So yeah, I think I colored that with uh, some colored pencils. And here's a little Lysol can that I made. And I believe this yeah, this came with the washer and dryer set, um, but it is very oversized, so I just stuck it back here. Over on this side is where we keep the tools. And this set came from Michael's in their miniature section, and it just has several little different tools in it. So you have a screwdriver, hammer, some scissors. So yeah, I just thought it was a really cute set. Next to that, we have some clothespins. And you can still find these at the Dollar Tree. They are oversized for this diorama, but I still thought they were a cute accessory for this room. And the container that they're in is a cap off of something that I don't remember, because it's been a few years since I made uh, this diorama guy. So I'm not sure what this cap was from. So down on this shelf, we keep our dryer lint. And this is a container from the Dollar Tree. And I guess this container is the same as what the clothespins are in. So maybe that's what I used. So I just printed a label with my label maker. And I just put a few cotton balls in there to look like we just emptied the lint from the dryer. And next to the dryer lint, I keep the iron. And this is made from, if I remember correctly, paperboard. And I painted the bottom silver. The top, I think I painted with black nail polish, maybe. And the silver piece is just um, some silver paper. I used a hole punch to make that. And... Yeah, and then the handle is a paper clip with some more, I think that's hot glue. This part is just hot glue that I molded and then I painted it. Yeah, I think that's how I did that, guys. Below that, we just have some towels folded. And this is just a piece from a larger towel. And as you can see, I have it kind of folded accordion style. But from the front, it looks like there's two. And over on this side, we keep all of our laundry essential products. So these little bottles you can find at the Dollar Tree. And I did put real items in. So that is real laundry soap. And those are real scent booster beads. And the pods are just some beads that uh, I had laying around, just black beads. And I just threw them in there and printed some more labels out. So the pedestal that they're sitting on is actually a little cloche. And I believe this came from Michael's also. I have two of these. So it would sit on top like that, but I just leave them off. 
and I thought that was really nice for the laundry room. Now for the washer and dryer. These are the My Life As laundry playset washer and dryer. And I ordered this from Walmart in, I believe, 2020. Um, I'll go back in my history and put the picture of the, um, the set somewhere on the screen. So over here on the washer, you can see that it does have some stickers showing like the different levels, temperatures, and settings to wash the clothes on. And it also has a sticker here. I think that's supposed to be like the countdown to wash time left. So yeah, that's some pretty neat things going on there. And the washer has some faux water. If you open the door up, let me see if I can do this with the camera in my way. <laughs> So guys, the water is inside this little um, plastic cup here, and there is space to put some clothes. So we have some towels and a shirt thrown in there. And if you push this button here, it will start. And on the dryer, you also have a display showing the temperature, time remaining, and some different settings for the dryer here. I guess it's the on and off switch, and I'm not sure exactly what that is. But this also opens and has room to add clothes, and it does make a similar noise as the washing machine. And if you look inside the washer and dryer, there are these little details in the back. And you also have the detail here of like this little vent. So guys, here's the back of the washing machine and the dryer looks the same as the washing machine on the back. At the bottom here is the on off switch and this is where your battery goes. And guys, the washer and dryer does come with some extra accessories, but these are huge. They are way too big for Barbie dolls. So I don't use these in here, I, I guess. You know, for this, if you shopped in at like Costco or somewhere for your dolls, it might make sense, but it's just way too big. It also comes with this laundry basket, and to me, this is slightly too big for the dolls also. So, I mainly just use this to store other items in. So, my friends, that's my laundry room tour, and I felt like I struggled a little bit with this. I don't know why, but... um. If you have any questions uh, that I did not answer, please leave them in the comments and I will try to the best of my ability to answer them for you. Uh, also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your notifications and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.